Chambla. For the five days that it's fully functioning, it's one of the safest places to be in the Kootenays. Like there's more doctors here, and more specialists, more psychiatrists, more just awesome people working so hard to keep everybody safe. That's become part of my life mission, is just to create safe spaces for people so that they can come and enjoy all of the wonderful things that music festivals like Shambhala have to offer. There's six different departments underneath the harm reduction umbrella. So we have full spectrum harm reduction services. So anywhere in the continuum of contemplation about your use, you can come in not judgmentally. Our guests start to see, wow, they have all these programs, they really care about us. They start taking care of themselves too, and each other. Shambhala is a pioneer in the world on harm reduction, for sure. This festival has been pushing the boundaries of that and, and leading the charge for a long time. The things that have been done here were always sort of flying under the radar because it wasn't socially acceptable in a lot of ways. We're enabling people to take care of themselves. And I don't think any one of these departments could work alone. We really all need each other. My name's Chloe Sage, and I'm the team lead for the Anchors Drug Checking Tent at Shambhala. Yeah. I've been doing it for about 10 years. For a lot of years, we were kind of the fringe people on the outside. No one wanted to touch us. Nobody knew if it was legal or illegal. We were always a bit worried about getting arrested. <laughs> Over the last few years, mostly because of this opioid crisis, there's been a real searching for, what can we do, what can we do? Myself and Warren Mikolo wrote a drug checking uh, guide to music festivals, which people all over the world now use. And we use the work we did here at Shambhala in order to make that manual. Drugs are just there. <laughs> they exist, so why not acknowledge it and let's do something about it. I'm here to test some MDMA, make sure that my friends and I are safe when we're doing these things. I don't think I've talked to anyone who's like, I wish this wasn't here. I wish they weren't testing drugs. Like, what? It's everyone's just like, oh yeah, we're testing drugs because we do these things responsibly. So this year we have these fancy new devices called FTIR spectrometers. So what makes this machine special, it essentially shines a laser at the sample. Each chemical substance will give a fingerprint, and then based upon that, you can say with pretty good certainty what it contains. And added benefits, it can tell you multiple components, possibly, of what's in the substance being tested. At the, each station, there's a technician paired with an advisor. So Julie here advises on you know harm reduction tips based on the results, so it's kind of tailor-made. And I think that's kind of the, the most powerful thing, is getting drugs on the table to have an open conversation to talk. We talk about the outreach team, we talk about the sanctuary, we talk about the women's safe group. All that service together works together. When people are given the opportunity to make choices that will keep them safer, reduce some of their risks, they really, really take advantage of it. And they're waiting for two hours and they're totally stoked about it. People that do this kind of stuff are very passionate about it, which I really love. Thanks for doing this, guys. Here, what's wonderful is that people are not ashamed. They can talk about their substances. They can freely get so much information that they don't get elsewhere. And Shambhala does that really well. Our government officials have selected Anchors to be pilot project site. So now we have an overdose prevention site designation. So this year we're doing research with the DAS Toxicology Labs in Vancouver from Health Canada, where we're sending samples down to them. And they're going to do confirmatory testing to tell us are our machines really working? Like, are we missing things? This type of research that's done here has an impact for sure on other people saying, hey, this works, this is what's going on. So then it goes into the uh, opiate uh, prevention side, it goes into the safe injection side. So it's a lot of people that are grabbing that opportunity to do more. If I could have one dream come true is that the work that's done here can eventually lead to policy change for us here in Canada. This has really become sort of a legacy piece of Shambhala and of Anchors and of the medical work that we do that we're contributing to that knowledge base. It's really nice that there's some attention being given to Anchors and the harm reduction in general that Shambhala is doing because I feel it's very world class. This whole festival and all these departments in harm reduction, the main line of communication is you are worth it. You can take care of yourself. We're gonna help you to do that. And we want you to do that for your neighbor and your friend. And if they can just leave here feeling a little bit more worthwhile in the world, like they matter, I think that that makes a huge difference in the world. Sorry, I'm getting a little teary. Oh, no.
If we were to come out to a festival that was unwilling to let us try these things out, this would never have happened. So it really has taken Shambhala's side of do what you do, we trust you. And if other festivals could see this and say, we could do that, then wow, wouldn't it be amazing if we could have this all the way across. This festival's always been about being able to support people to do what they needed to do without fear of consequences, and it's nice that that's moving outside this festival to the real world where people understand that the, the zero tolerance policy isn't the way to go and we need to talk about some other options. I love coming here to work. I love partying, I love, I floated down the river, I love dancing at the stages, but honestly my favorite thing is just working in collaboration with the team of people who are good at what they do and are really passionate about providing the golden standard of harm reduction services and festivals across the entire world.